Unicameral bone cyst. It is a bone cyst. And these are the typical scenarios that comes in the exams, like you have a fracture in a unicameral bone cyst. So what is the treatment? You allow the fracture to heal with non-surgical management. You will follow the patient clinically and with serial radiographs. After the fracture heals, aspiration and injection of the cyst may be necessary. For another question, we ask you what is the diagnosis? Some of these cysts have a pathognomonic radiologic finding, which is known as the fallen leaf sign. It is typical for unicameral bone cyst. What is the fallen leaf sign? It is part of the fracture cortex that settles to the most dependent part of the cyst. The most common site of unicameral bone cyst is the proximal humerus and the proximal femur. And you really don't need workup for patients with unicameral bone cyst. So when you look at the X-ray, you see thinning of the cortical bone with central lucency and no obvious matrix. And these are the typical findings of a unicameral bone cyst. The most common presentation of a benign bone tumor in childhood is an incidental finding. The unicameral bone cyst is a simple bone cyst. It's a benign cystic lesion that's prone to pathologic fracture and recurrence. Approximately 85% of the patients are under the age of 20. The lesion tends to occur in the metaphysis and diaphysis. It abuts the epiphysis in the proximal humerus and in the proximal femur. The cystic lesion is lined by a fibrous membrane and filled with clear yellow fluid. Aneurysmal bone cysts are different, they are eccentric. Aneurysmal bone cyst enlarges the metaphysis more than the width of the epiphyseal plate. Unicameral bone cysts are most likely to present with a pathologic fracture in a child. The goal of treatment is to prevent pathologic fracture. In 50% of patients with unicameral bone cyst, the lesion remains asymptomatic until a fracture occurs, usually from a minor trauma. When the lesion expands the bone, the bone is weakened, and this may cause pain or a fracture. Treatment of unicameral bone cyst. Fracture of the humerus are usually minimally displaced and they are treated by immobilization and allowed to heal. If the lesions are persistent or progressive, they may need surgical treatment, such as curettage and bone graft, or injection of the lesion, or percutaneous injection of bone graft or bone graft substitute. Curettage and bone graft of the proximal femur and in the subtrochanteric area may be needed because it is a high stress area and is prone to a fracture. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.